Hello and welcome everyone. So today we'll be looking at how PCA or principal component analysis makes use of eigenvalues and eigenvectors to perform better, better scientific research and methodologies in uh, machine learning. So what is PCA basically? PCA is a method of dimensionality reduction, which might sound like a big complicated word, but what it aims at doing is as reducing the number of features or dimensions in order to better visualize and better analyze the data. Now we'll take an example over here. Let's say this is a data set or a small data where income, children, cars and housing area are the features and it can be represented in a matrix in this form. And we'll try and use PC and eigenvalues to reduce the number of dimensions. So first up, we'll standardize the data. We'll use this given formula, remove the text column, obviously, because text can't be represented in numeric form until unless you label encode it. So first we'll standardize the data. So it's easier to work with. After that, we'll compute the covariance matrix and post that we'll also calculate the eigenvalues and the eigenvectors. As you can see over here, this is the covariance between XX, XY, XZ and so on. And these are the eigenvalues that we have computed from the covariance matrix. And next, what we'll do is we'll choose the top K eigenvectors after the eigenvalues we will also calculate the eigenvectors and we'll choose the top K eigenvectors. We'll arrange them in ascending order and choose the top K eigenvectors. Post doing this using these K eigenvectors, we'll retransform the data by multiplying the standardized data that we had created in the starting with these K vectors. And then um, what we'll do in the end is retransform the data and you know our final result will look something like this. So we transformed a 4 into 4 matrix into a 4 into 3 matrix by uh, using PCA, eigenvalues and eigenvectors. Hope this was uh, helpful and useful to you guys. Bye-bye.